Joining me via Skype is the Deputy Executive Director, Environmental Rights Action, Akim Bode Olufemi. Thank you very much for joining me at this point. Now, the, uh, the Gazette, the um, Tobacco Regulation, has been on for quite a while, and the federal government has not um, implemented that protocol. Now, how do you feel that this has not been implemented uh, so far? I think first thing to say is that Nigerians should remember how long it was to have the National Tobacco Control Act 2015. Um, it's too close to a decade of work um, with you know, CSOs, the Ministry itself, and the National Assembly. We got a 2011 Act. It was not signed by the then president. Eventually, we started all over again. And eventually, we got the National Tobacco Control Act. But, curiously, um, a section of that act says certain provisions will not be uh, enforced until there are regulations, and that those regulations should go back to the National Assembly. So we, again, we had to work again with critical stakeholders. The ministry drafted um, a set of regulations. It took us years, several years, again, 2015 to 2019, before we got the National Assembly to approve those regulations. And we all celebrated that now we are the right track to enforce a law that will reduce deaths and diseases associated with smoking. But these regulations were approved in May, and here we are in December, almost December, we're in November, till, I mean, getting close to the end of the year. And uh, till now, we're still battling with. Um, um, necessary government organs to do the gazetting and then begin the enforcement of provisions of that regulations. Okay, so for, for, we're in December now. The uh, bill has not been uh, passed into law, and the gazette is still there. How? Do, what uh, impact is this having on the society generally? I mean, clearly, the whole world knows that tobacco smoking kills. It's killing about 7 million people. WHO statistics shows that about 16,800 Nigerians die every year as a result of smoking. And every day, kids are taking up smoking habits. We've seen how vaping are killing in other parts of the world. So um, the science is no longer a debate, and government around the world are taking action. Every delay means more people are going to die as a result of this very dangerous habit. Well, it's a serious situation that every day people are going to die as a result of smoking. Now, how uh, apart from those that smoke, how does this also affect non-smokers or passive smokers? So um, there are enough signs to show that if you are living or working close by people who smoke, you are also at the risk of lung cancers, the cerebral cancers, and other diseases that are associated with smoking. And that informs the reason why most tobacco control laws do have prohibition for smoke-free public places. And that also applies to our law, and that's why we're actually calling for immediate enforcement of those provisions. All right, uh, Akim Bode Olufemi, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Joining me via Skype is the Deputy Executive Director, Environmental Rights Action, Akim Bode Olufemi. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. All right, uh, there is the need to implement uh, this act. And so what is stalling the implementation? Well, I think it's uh, very surprising to all of us. It's very worrying. Um, the regulations were approved by the National Assembly in May. And uh, we do not think that an administrative process like, you know, gazetting the regulations should have taken so long. Um, that's why um, public health experts, tobacco control advocates around the country are beginning to ask questions why that's taking so long and um, urging the government to quickly do what is needful because people are dying as a result of smoking. Every day means more and more of our children are going to get addicted into tobacco. Addiction. So how are bodies like yours engaging the National Assembly to ensure that uh, or the necessary organizations to ensure that the implementation uh, like we want to see is uh, done? I, mean, I think um, it's a very crucial point you made there that the National Assembly sometimes have to perform its uh, critical oversight functions when they approve um, regulations or they approve laws. I, I think they do have the powers to call the concerned agencies of government or ministries to ask them questions about update and what is needed in the enforcement because this is a very crucial and important public health uh, set of regulations. 
So where does this leave uh, the fight for tobacco control in Nigeria? I think it, it's a very sad story at the point that, you know, most people, most countries around the world have actually moved beyond issues like regulating the regular tobacco that we know on the streets, into regulating vaping, banning vaping products, banning shisha, that we are still here battling with regulation to protect people from, you know, exposure to tobacco smoking, public areas. We're still talking about packaging and labeling. When other countries have actually moved to them packaging, uh, it doesn't really portray us as a country that is taking the public care of its citizens very seriously. And I think government needs to do something very fast. But when you, when you look critically at uh, all of these issues, especially the regulation on ban on sale of cigarettes, uh, single sticks, and the prohibition of sale to anyone below 18, how challenging will that be? I, I think, you know, a lot of the time, people do give excuses why things should not be done right in our country. And I, and I always say no. Okay, when FRSC was about to introduce seedbeds uh, to enforce, you know, seedbeds, everybody said it was not going to work in a year. Why do we always think it was not going to work in a year? Why is it that good things don't work yet? It is the duty of the government to ensure that once a law is made, such a law is enforced, particularly a law that is set to protect the health of the citizen. All right, Akimbo de Oluwafemi, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. Thank you so much this uh, uh, regulation to the Nigerian economy? Yeah, um, basically, um, it's an healthy people that makes a healthy economy. And if you seek at your prime time, that means you're not going to be productive. Um, there are reports by the World Bank to show that um, uh, economies around the world are losing over a trillion dollars every year as a result of diseases and health that are treated with smoking. Uh, and when you look at those laws, the 80%, over 80% of them occur in developing countries, for which Nigeria is a major contributor. So you find out that Nigeria is losing economically mm. as a result of health, health as a result of um, environmental laws, as a lot of social impact of smoking. All right, thank you very much, uh, Akimbo Deolufemi, for talking to us on this. Thank you so much.